They say you're not the girl I think you are And they say I'm not the perfect man for you They say we're not meant to be But I can't let you won't let you not let you go You locked into Amina, keep it locked I mean, your music has really, you know, just taken wave and it's become so crazy. How are you taking that so far? I'm not thinking about it. You're I'm thinking about the next song, the next show, the next artist that's, that's going to come out, the next shoe line that I have out that we want to talk about too, Kanz 76. Another shoe line? No, well, oh, not the, uh, the one, the shoe line. Yeah. yeah, so it's Kanz 876. Yeah, 876 is the area code for Jamaica. Oh, 876? Yeah. Oh, 254? There you go. Eight, ah. Yeah. So now I get it. I was like, what number could that possibly be for? Yeah. So now you have uh, your songs. It's all about, you know, a lot of them are about butt shaking. if Because I don't know. A few that. of them. The ones that we love here. Oh, okay. Are a lot of them. Uh, you know, it's all about pulling to your bumper and making people. Well, not my bumper, but, you know, <laughs> to a so, bumper, if you please. Yes. So yeah. <laughs> is, that, is, uh, is that like the one, is it, you know, your kind of thing to. No. Nah. No, no, no. It, I'm, I, I have a lot more songs. It's just that these songs are actually, I think it's a time now for them. You know, people people need that, the girls need that attention in the parties now. It, the age of the iPhone and the Samsung and the selfies and, yes. you know, people just yes. need to party. Yes. And I think the, the girls are embracing that. Yeah. So now, um, well, you've traveled a lot now. You've been all over you're traveling and doing tours. Where is that one place you went huh? to? And and mm-hmm. and the girls really threw down. You were like, yo, uh, the girl them ting them. If that yo, that um, thing. uh, let's let's pass. Pass. Yeah, I'll pass on that Why? question. You're let's leave ready. it. You could just say Kenya. Yeah, well, that would be the easy way. You know what? Nairobi. Nairobi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The easy way out. I'll take the easy road. Yeah, that's the easy way out. Okay, so now um, uh, when we speak about your career, when yeah. you started back in 2005, was it? Um, You had your first, I think, your first major tour in mm-hmm. Japan. Was that the breakthrough of your career? Um, No, that was a starting. But the breakthrough came in 2008. I did a song called Winner. And that gave me local attention. That's local being in Jamaica, yeah. where the, where the, mus- the music actually starts from. So, mm-hmm. you know, I think that that song did the most for my career. That opened all doors. Yeah. Yeah. But in Jamaica, it's so difficult because the oh, yeah. rhythms are released every other day. Artists everyone come out every day. Artists, yep. Everyone, is, from the lady who sells groceries to everyone mm-hmm. wants to be a singer. How hard is it for someone to, you know, come out and make a name? Very hard. But I think, you know, it's like everything else in life. If it comes too easy, you'll probably lose it easy. You appreciate it more when you work really hard and get it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Now, let's speak about your take on education. You're very serious about education. Oh, yeah. Now, a lot of kids are listening right now, and they look up to you, and they also want to get into music. What mm-hmm. would you tell them about going to school? It's definitely um 100% necessary. Like, when you get to a point, all right, if you look at my career, I'm a CEO of a, a, a shoe company. For my recording company, I deal with people from all walks of life, all different cultures, different parts of the world. Can you imagine if I couldn't conduct a conversation? That would be embarrassing. If I couldn't um, calculate some money, if I couldn't, you know, basic addition and multiplication and simple reasonability. So um, just being an artist is great. You have a talent. God bless you with a talent. But you need that background. You need that foundation. So school is definitely important. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's speak business. So you have a shoe line. Yeah. And you have... A female clothing line? No. No? Okay. No. It's not... That that was for one... That I, I did that once, and then it, 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 it got too big for me. It at got that, too big? Yeah, at that time. Like, for you to handle? Yes. At that time, they, like it was a few t-shirts and then some crop tops, and they came out, and then they were done, and then the demand was too great, and for then I, I didn't have time to go back. So, well, yeah. You were making money on that, and you would have just, you know, hired... The, People, you're like, okay, you handle the t-shirt business and the clothes line and I'm going to go on the side and I'm going to sing. And this is what I'm doing now with the shoe line. Yeah. Yeah. So how I'm not a shoe salesman. Yeah. But, you know, <laughs> you, you live and you learn. That was uh, that was a first step. That was basically um, to test yeah. my market ability to see if, if, if I could appeal to, to people on that level. Mm. And I passed the test, so I decided to go in. Yeah. yeah. And then, so you put a hold on the clothing line. Are you going to go back then? Are you gonna go Eventually, back then? but for now, we're focused there on, on, on the, the shoes. Okay. So yeah. I know a few people who have the shoes here in Kenya. Mm-hmm. Cons 876. 
So you currently don't have a distributor here. No, these these those that few people probably went online www.kansait76.com. Mm-hmm. They probably went online and got it or they were in Jamaica and got it, but yeah. I'm working on getting it in Africa right now. Yeah. Not just Kenya, but in Africa on a whole. Yeah, cuz it's it's going to be really huge. I can tell I hope you that. so. Yeah. I believe so as well, yeah. And it looks are you do you have it on right now? Yep. Mm-hmm. So it looks really dope. In fact, your entire entourage, they have the same shirt. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Yes, yeah. they do. Oh, yeah. They got to represent. Yeah, a conflict of interest, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So now, um, you also, um, of course, one of your biggest icons in, you know, in dancehall is Vibes mm-hmm. Patel, who, of course, as we know, is now facing life in yeah. prison. Where were you when you heard the news and how did you wow. feel about that? Wow. This question is, is, is directed at me and has been directed at me so many times in the past few days. I can't avoid big. it. Right now. Yeah, but you answer. You know, I answered so many times, and I'd never answer it the same way twice. I need to just re- remember I answer for this question as of now. Yeah. Whatever I say to you, I'm going to say it in every interview. <laughs> um, it's very unfortunate, you know. Uh, we would have hoped that it, it worked out a different way, even though we don't know the situation. I don't know the situation in 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 detail, so I can't say if he was guilty or innocent or whatever. But I can only speak as a fan, and and as a as a coworker, he will be missed. Yeah. Um, well, you, you've you worked with a lot of people, yeah. from Taurus Riley to a lot of people. Um, who out of all these people was a huge inspiration? You mentioned his name. Taurus? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I think not necessarily, I wouldn't say an, an inspiration, but it was like school. Yeah. You know, he's he's on a different level as a musician. He's, he's, he has mastered his vocals. So in studios, like I'm in class. Even when I was recording him because I have some knowledge of being an engineer. Mm-hmm. So I'm recording him, and at the same time, I'm at school watching him record. So mm. it was a nice experience. Good girl, gone Yeah, bad. I know that's your song. You too told many, me. Too many girls have gone bad. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> and do you like the good girls gone bad? Yeah, no, yeah. Yes, right? Yeah, yeah maybe. <laughs> and um, you also have recorded, um, you know, jams with J. Capri. Yeah. Who's really catching on right now. Yeah. Would you say that she's the next big female artist? I'll definitely say that. I, I think she's the biggest female artist in order Jamaica right now. Oh, wow. Yeah, and, and that's not looking at her body of work. Yeah. Because it clearly couldn't be. Yeah. But being close to her and, and seeing her record and seeing her, her deal, oh, the way she deals with people, yeah. the way she commands the stage, and yeah. it's just amazing. She's going to be big. Is she, is, how is she in person? Is she Because, you know, she's very She's raw. crazy. She is cr- just as crazy as in the You room. know what? She's you. She's me. Yeah, she <laughs> has that personality that, that walk into the room and say hi to everybody and hug everybody and smiling, and oh, that's her. That is so cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so now from um, positivity to negativity, we never hear you beefing. Is it that you, one, ignore them so that you don't, because you don't have time? No, I get them? hungry. So when I get the beef, I normally eat the beef and there's no beef left. Yeah. You know, so I'm not a vegetarian, so I don't, I don't have beef. You don't have I don't get beef. to keep beef. All right. So now as we know conscience personally, so there's um, conscience Garfield now, Garfield, not conscience. Mm-hmm. So now that you're so big... Um, at what point do you have time for you to just be a normal guy, chill in the big. house and play games and? You know? Um, never. Never. Yeah. You're constantly working. Constantly. So who do you who do you listen to on your iPod? Everything, and that's not just trying to get the question out of the way. That's really everything, like everything, every single thing. Yeah, and your favorite rapper, I know Drake. Drake. Yeah. And Nicki Minaj, no? Yeah, you heard this somewhere. Where did you hear this? I saw you. Oh. You know where I got this oh, on lock. Are, are you Google? I'm a big, huge fan. Who are you? Fan. Who is this oh, person? Are you I a spy? Have to know. <laughs> <laughs> I have to know. So you like Drake, <laughs> and you know what we say about Drake here? He's, he's girly. Like sissy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Do you think uh, he's girly? At times, <laughs> but everybody is girly at times. You know, people like to point fingers. I think he's, he's a he's, he's a musician, yeah. and that makes him crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So do you, do you have girly moments? Um, I will never say that. Why would I say I have girly moments? <laughs> I think you should say it when I'm gone. Oh, I should say it so. No, yeah, no, 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 don't no. say it now, though. I don't say it now. No, I, d- I tell people when, later. I, when I'm gone, you can say you can say stuff if you want. Oh it God, comes with the territory. It's pretty girly here and there. But yeah. but why Drake? Um, he's he's a poet. The lyrics are my favorite singer in Jamaica is Barry Salmon yeah. because he paints pictures with his words, mm-hmm. and I think Drake is the same thing in yeah. hip hop. He does do the same. Yeah. Thing. 
All right. Now, aside from music, um, what else are you into? Aside like? from music, what is this? Oh no, I mean aside from uh, <laughs> you know, I have to. We have to now decide for you yeah. as a person. So aside from music, what else is um is there to conscience? Do you like sports? I love sports. Do you, you do. Yeah. Uh, what, basketball. Football, everything. Soccer, football. everything. Oh yeah. really? Okay, great. So what's, what's your my favorite team? Yes. I course. knew that Barcelona. Barcelona. Yes. Why did I think you were an Arsenal fan? I don't know because Arsenal is a dominant team in Kenya. Really? Everywhere I go, everybody's an Arsenal fan, and I was an Arsenal fan. You were? Yeah. Why did you? Abandon because you? I was more of an of an Henry fan than an Arsenal fan, and he left Arsenal. You, so you are a fan of Henry. Yeah, and then yeah. You, oh. and then he left. So you know. What do you think about their current situation right now? I don't even know. I don't even you care. Don't even care. Ooh. No. Child. Yeah, Arsenal fans. I don't care. Would you consider yourself a great dancer? Hell no. No, you can't dance. No. You're a good singer. I'm a fairly good singer. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dancing is dancing is not me. Out the window. Maybe okay. if I really get into it, yeah. I'll forget about everything else and everybody watching and just you know. And just have a great time. Do some crazy moves, but you never know. Okay, great. Well, I think I've asked you everything I have, you know, because now I'm being rushed. But I think I've asked you everything I wanted to ask Okay. You. So you have listeners listening in right now. What do you want to tell them about the event going down tomorrow? First, I want to say thank you to all the fans, all the supporters over the years, you know. And I hope that you continue showing me support, continue giving me love. I'm going to continue giving you this music. Tomorrow night, it's all about that Guinness show. You ever heard about it? Yes. You know about it's it? Evolution party. The evolution. Yeah, that yes. Guinness thing. Yeah, it's going to be big. Conscience and a whole bunch of great Kenyan artists. Yeah. You see me? I said, Javad, my artist, is here too as well. Yeah. I will give you the hits from back then till now and maybe some new stuff. So you never know. It's going to be a great show. So you have way too many songs. Do you? How do you decide which one you're going to I don't even know. I don't even know. I'm you just going to sing all of them. And you're going to sing all your songs? All of them. So chances are everybody's going to hear their song. Wow. Yeah. That is crazy. So the last time you were here, my favorite song was Simple Song. Yeah. Your favorite song has always been the realest song. Yeah. I don't know if that's changed. No, it's still the realest song. Yeah. So now, after these years, my favorite song is on the In Transit Rhythm. Uh, rhythm, rhythm to song. Her With Love. To, yes. Are you but married? I was going through the same thing. Are you married? Yes. Okay. I was going through the same I thing when you were singing about it. I figured. That's why that's your song. Yeah, that's why People that have been through it normally connect with it that, that well. Yeah? yeah? They don't? They will. They, they Yeah, they do. Yeah, I think, been through it. I think it was an amazing song. Thank you. Yeah. Um, but um, right now, because we're going to drop the realest song, why mm -hmm. is that your favorite song? Because it is undoubtedly the realest song I've ever heard in dancehall music. Yeah. Yeah, you can be the judge. Yeah. All right, well, there you go. Conscience was with us on the heat on your best mix of music. 98.4 Capsule FM. Right now, let's get back into the music. Thank you.